Okay, everybody, we are going to draw the beach town by the ocean. Okay, so um, how we're going to do this is um, I'm going to be using um, a Sharpie. And um, the only reason I'm using this is because it's really dark so that you can see it while I'm drawing. You can use a pencil. You can use another type of marker. Um, you can use anything, a colored pencil. I've got some colored pencils here. You could use a colored pencil, um, anything that you have. Um, but anyway, I'm going to be using this marker. I'm using some just white bond paper from the printer. Nothing, um, you know, interesting about this paper, really. Um, and so what we're going to be drawing is an abstract sort of um, drawing of um, a little town next to the ocean and it's kind of like a cartoon it um, doesn't look realistic it's just fun and it it's really fun to color it um, and to add your own imagination um, items to it mine um, has houses with trees and a beach and then the ocean you could have um, you could really do anything. You could leave off the houses and do a whole bunch of trees. You could leave off the trees and do a whole bunch of houses. You could do, instead of doing houses or trees, you could do um, hills with flowers on it or just a whole row of flowers. And the ocean, I just have big waves, but you could have um, just little waves or you could have fish jumping out of the water, anything you want. But this is just gonna be a step-by-step -step, um, draw along um, of what I'm doing. And um, if I'm going too fast, you can pause the video and just keep going after you've caught up, okay? So what I do for this drawing is um, I'm going to draw the area where the houses go and where the beach is first. So um, I'm gonna draw the beach like this, kind of just making a swirl line, just kind of um, a free form line. And then the other part of the beach is gonna be like that, okay? Now that's, this right here is the beach, okay? And this is gonna be the ocean, and this is gonna be where the houses are. Now I'm gonna turn the paper because I'm going to be drawing the trees and the houses right here, and it's easier to see it if the paper's tipped a little bit. So I'm gonna start by drawing the um, a couple of the trees first. The trees are usually in front of houses in the front yard. Some are in the backyard, but I want my trees to be in the front yard, so I want the trees to be drawn first. So I'm gonna start out by doing um, two large trees right here. I'm drawing the trunk like that, and I'm gonna draw some really crazy big trees that kind of look like maybe, I don't know, Italian cypresses or something. And then I'm going to do a second tree, similar. It's going to be kind of like a, sort of like a Dr. Seuss kind of tree, you know, just kind of bunny, bunny shape, sort of like cartoon trees. And then I'm going to put a tree over here in another person's yard. And it's going to be the same shape, and I'm going to just go up the paper a little bit. And then I'm gonna put one over here. Just some fun, like the wind's blowing it. It's going over there. And then maybe I'll put another little one right next to that tree. So these people have two trees in their front yard. Okay, and then I'm gonna cover up their trunks right there on the ground, okay. Now, my, I want my houses to be really kind of silly houses, so I'm gonna make them a, a whole bunch of different angles. And the way I like to do this is I like to draw some different angled lines that come up like this, maybe like that, like this. So these are the sides of the houses. I'll put some over here, maybe one there. Okay, and then, and I'll put one here. So then you're gonna connect to those to make um, the top of the house or like the roof line. So just like that. And this one goes like that, down to there, and this one. And I might even put another one there and have it go like that. And then 
Okay, so now these are the houses and I'm going to put roofs on them. And you know, when you're in your neighborhood or you're, or you're driving around with your family and you look at houses, houses have all different kinds of roofs and, you know, shapes of windows and everything. So I'm going to make some fun rooftops. So this one's just going to be a typical rooftop. This one's going to be sort of like a short little rooftop like that. And this one, I'm going to do a short little roof like that one over there. And this one's going to have a big roof on it. And then I'm going to have the, this roof go off the, off the paper, and so will this one. Okay. And then I might put like a little garage right here for this house, and maybe one over here. Now, we need to put doors and windows in. So there's all different shapes of doors too. There's some doors with a round top, square, there's double doors. So this one I'm gonna make a round door with a doorknob. And this one's gonna be a square door with a doorknob. And this is a garage. So I'm gonna make a big garage door. And I'll put a little garage door handle. And then another square one, doorknob. And this one I'm gonna make a double door. And this is gonna be a garage door. That could even be a dog house. Um, this one's gonna have a regular door and this will have a round door. And then this guy over here has to have a double door. Okay, and it has door knobs. Okay, now roof lines and the, the way that different people have their shingles on their roofs, there's all different kinds of shingles. There's scallop shingles and square shingles and all kinds of shingles. So I'm gonna start with this one and I'm just gonna make some fun lines for my rooftop like that. And I might even go like this. And then this one I'm gonna have little scalloped shingles like that, and these are just little scallops. And then this one, I'm going to, let's do this one, I'm gonna do, kind of follow the line of the roof top, like that. And this one I'm gonna do scallops too. So these are just little U's that I'm doing, and I'm just sort of connecting them and that's kind of a nice little thing to do for fish scales too. And this will be like a stripe, and this one's gonna be like that. And then this one over here will be stripes too, okay? Okay, so now we need to put some windows in, and you just can put little squares wherever you want, wherever you think a window would be nice. And some windows are even round. So I'm gonna put a round window there and maybe a square window here and a long window there. And maybe a window here and a window here. And maybe a triangle window like that. And then a long window on this house. And then some windows have, you know, the window panes like that. Not all windows have to have it, but it looks kind of nice. Okay. So, and let's put a sun in. So sometimes I like to do a sun with, you know, just a little sun, but then maybe another circle around it that it's glowing. And you could put some birds in the sky flying all over. Okay, so now we've drawn our houses, and you can you can add other little rooftops wherever you see, whatever you think it, you know something might be needed. Like I think a dog house right there would be good. Okay, and so now we're going to go over and do our ocean. Now, I just want to have big waves that just represents the ocean. I don't want it to look realistic. I want it to be fun. So first off, I want to give it some kind of a wave look. And you can do like little scallops like this. And to make it look kind of more like a wave, you can add another row of scallops like that. 
to give it sort of a wave look. And just do a couple of these all over your paper. So you do, these are like U's and then use underneath it. And you can just do these all over. You can do three ones, one with three little scallops, and then maybe one that goes off the paper here. Do the little scallop. So you can already tell that sort of represents water. And then maybe some big ones right here. Do the scallops. You don't need to be perfect, you know? Now, I even want really big waves. So I am going to make some big waves. Go right off the paper. And to give that wave some depth, you might want to add another little curl next to it. And then you can do another one over here. So I'm just making a swirl like that and then I follow the swirl back. And then I like to give it a little dimension. And then another, maybe another one of those right over here, big one, right off the paper, like that. And then maybe even another one over here. So see, that's just a swirl. And then you just follow it. And then you follow it again. Maybe one up here. Now, I think even waves going the other direction looks kind of cool. So I'm gonna just make some more, go like that. Maybe even another one that goes like that. And then so what I'm doing is I'm sort of making like the number two, and then I'm making another beginning of a number two like that. And then you can make a shadow on it. And then let's do one here. So like you're making a number two, come all the way down. And then you wanna make this shadow line. And then I would just keep adding, just wherever you want to add one. Okay, maybe even one that's down here that's coming off the page. Okay, maybe one down here. So put as many as you want wherever you want. Now this over here, we might want to put a curb or a sidewalk that goes down to the beach. So I think this is a beach. So I'm gonna, I would color it, you know, sand color, but it could be a road. You know, you could put a middle divider down it. It could be a road, but I want these houses to, to be right on the beach and so that these houses have an ocean view. I mean, that to me would be a nice place to live right there. And then color it, color it any colors you want. The ocean, you know, blues or, you know, even sea green and the sand, some sandy color. And you could do that instead of that being a sun, it could be a moon, you know, and you could put stars in the skies. You could color that a really dark, um, like navy blue and do stars in the sky. You could do some grass. Now I've got one colored that I want to show you. And I used colored markers for this. So here's one that I colored. And it has got, um, you know, a dark blue sky and the houses are just all different fun colors. I did these waves in different colors of blue. And then I did the background of the ocean water kind of like a sea green, like a mossy light sea green. And then this sand, I just, I just picked a light brown and did a couple shades of the light brown. And I did all the windows in like a light blue so that it would kind of look like it was daylight. But there it is. So 
I hope you have fun doing this. It was fun for me to create it, you know, for you. And um, it was fun to color it too. I, I enjoy doing stuff like this and I hope you do too.